first day of spring today. It's beautiful. Beautiful weather. Uh, I've been absent from my shed for three weeks. I'm very, uh, what, do you, what would you say? Antsy to get out here and do some stuff. Been missing for three weeks because I've been putting together the latest issue of Contact Magazine. So, I hope you saw Contact Magazine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciate that putting it together kept me out of my shed. But now I'm back. Bit of tidying up to do. Uh, I've got a lathe I bought probably three months ago. Need to take that out of its box and figure out where I'm going to put it. I got some wood there to go on the lathe. Uh, neighbor's tree didn't fall down in the storm. He cut it down two days before the storm came. It was a dead tree, so the wood is uh, quite dry. Oh, another thing I got. I'd bought two power points. They pull apart. PowerPoint with a remote control switch. The reason for these, or my use for these, is to have my vacuum cleaners plugged in permanently, and then I can switch them on and off from wherever I'm working in the shed. Oops, I probably shouldn't turn it on when all these stations are blocked up. That's cool. Guess what? I found this on the side of the road. Honest. Outside a house on this street. House sold at auction recently. And the new people, when they moved in, they put a whole bunch of stuff out on the side of the walk with a free sign on it. This being one of them. A couple of other bits and pieces. I've no idea if it works. But there's only one way to find out. That's 50 PSI. I reckon this was a good score. Freebie on the side of the road. It, 
it hasn't gone down more than one or two psi in the last probably 40 minutes i've been sitting on my phone trying to find a manual for it but i can't um so yeah it's not losing pressure i even plugged in the hose and the hose is not losing pressure so i'm happy that i got a good score here i'm nervous about an old machine like this though I'm, i can't see much wrong with it but it's got the uh seller and servicing guy's name on top there so i might take it into them and get it once over before i run it up to full pressure anyway i don't have any tools that i can run off it yet so i'll pack it away for now get it serviced before i crank it up properly and buy some new tools for it but yeah that that is a score i reckon if anyone knows anything about these let me know well i've got new tools on the brain might as well get this lathe out and have a look at it check this out item number 15 the list goes up to number 13 so 15 and I presume 14 don't get a mention okie dokes Like I said, I've never used a lathe before, but I've seen plenty on YouTube. Let's see what happens. Okay. I've got this beat up old chisel that I got free somewhere else with a broken handle on it. So I'm gonna take the handle off and make a new handle. Now, that's the handle for my new old chisel. So I might have to use a different old chisel for this and hope for the best. I do have another plan in mind if that doesn't work but I'm getting maximum safety gear on for this wish me luck I will actually I'm gonna to stand to one side doing this Okay, that was first effort. It's actually working, but I'm gonna run this over a sharpening tool and I'm gonna turn up the speed as well. But yeah, I didn't feel too bad standing aside to do that now. As I'm tightening this up, 
even though it's locked, that keeps slipping backwards. So I might put a clamp behind there. Now that ain't going nowhere. Take two. I'd say that's not bad for a first effort. I'm not sure which end I want for um, the chisel. I think I'll have the fat end at the bottom. Doesn't really matter. It's first attempt. The stick is wet. Um, came down in the storm last week. I don't know if that makes a huge difference in the actual thing because I don't know I'm a learner but I like that now I'll drill a hole in there to put the shaft or whatever you call it of the chisel end root it's nearly quitting time but I'm keen to have a crack at that bigger log so I might do that before I put the things away. My new weapon. <laughs> do I need more speed? Not sure.
taken the material out of it. It's going to take a long time. I need a bigger, heavier tool, I reckon. better tools I reckon I get into that all right and it gets easier as you get into it because you're not getting slapped by the high spot high spots you're actually in the wood doing stuff instead of getting smacked I think that's what the difference is Okay, so it's a bit wonky, but it's my first job. <laughs> 